Hello everyone and welcome to your learning path. On our path today we are going to be learning about mixed numbers and improper fractions. So you'll be watching this video and answering the questions in PlayPosit and when it's over you're going to click next down below to get to your practice. Here's how it works. We are going to talk about first mixed numbers and improper fractions. And with those mixed numbers and improper fractions, we're going to represent those with pictures to help us be able to change between them and find equivalent improper fractions or mixed numbers. So here you can see a mixed number and it's one whole plus the extra pieces. Okay, so up top here is pink. This pink is worth one whole and then it has an extra half piece, half of a whole. Then improper fraction is just the three pieces, and there's two and one whole, so the numerator is larger than the denominator. With a mixed number, we have the whole plus the extra fraction and pieces, and then we, for an improper fraction, we just have all the pieces, and then the amount of pieces in one whole, and the numerator is larger than the denominator when it's an improper fraction. So let's look at another example and then you'll be able to practice with me. So here you can see that <clears throat> there is um, a mixed number and an improper fraction and here is the picture. So let's match this picture and figure out why this is the mixed number and this is the improper fraction. So you can see quickly and easily here that there's three holes. Thirds coming together to make a hole here, here, and here. So there's the three holes. Then there's one extra piece, and that's a third piece because we need three of them to make a whole. For the improper fraction, we just count all the pieces. Here's three, here's six, here's nine, there's ten. There's ten third pieces. So we're going to practice together looking at a mixed number and improper fraction and changing it to the opposite by making a picture. So let's do that together here. Two and three-fourths is the first improper fraction we're going to look at. We know that there's gonna be four pieces in one whole because of the denominator. So I'm gonna bring over those four pieces and here is one whole, but I need two. So I'm gonna make another hole and then I need three extra fourth pieces. So there's one, two, three. So two and three fourths is now represented here, but I want to find the improper fraction. To do that, I'm gonna count all of the pieces, four, eight, 9, 10, 11. 11 fourths is the improper fraction that's equal to 2 and 3 fourths. I want you to try now with 1 and 5 sixths. Use your toolkit, use Braining Camp, use a picture to figure out what improper fraction is represented. All right. Now that you've done that, let's check it with me. So I know there's six pieces in one whole, so I'm going to get out six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one whole, but now I need five extra pieces for five sixths. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have one and five sixths represented. I need to figure out how many total pieces there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So my answer is 11 sixths. If you got that awesome job, if not, think about what went wrong, what you would need to do to get the correct improper fraction. Okay, we've now practiced with mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let's practice improper fractions to mixed numbers. So I'm gonna do this one and then you're gonna try this one on your own. This one I know is going to be fourth pieces and I need 11 of them. So here's one piece, two, three, four. That's made one hole, so I'm gonna start a new hole. There's five, six, seven, eight. Then I need another fourth piece. There's eight, nine, 10, 11. So now I have 11 fourths represented. I need to figure out which mixed number this is equal to. To do that, I'm gonna look at how many whole pieces there are. I see there's one hole and there's one hole. So there's two holes. How many extra pieces are there? One, two, three. There's three extra pieces. And I know the denominator is how many pieces are in one whole? So three fourths. All right, you try this one on your own, 17 eighths. Use a picture, use tools, whatever you'd like to figure out what mixed number 
this improper fraction is equal to, and then check it with me. All right, let's check it. We need 17 eighths. So I'm going to get one eighth here and count on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that made one whole. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then one more is 17. So I see there are two holes represented. Okay, there's two holes, and then there's one extra eighth piece. One eighth. Two and one eighth is the mixed number. If you got that, awesome job. If not, that's okay. You'll get some more practice when we go to the next part. Now that you finish this video, you're going to go down and click the next button, and there will be an activity there for you waiting. Please watch the video so that you can see how the activity works. Have fun, and I hope you're learning a lot about changing improper fractions and mixed numbers to other improper fractions or mixed numbers. Excellent work today, everyone. See you soon in the next activity.